Welcome to Cropia Lesson 21. Today will be our last lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about the Cropi camera. Now, what is the Cropi camera? The Cropi camera is a camera module located on top of the Cropi. Now, what can we use it for? In today's lesson, we'll teach you a very, very basic sample just to make sure the camera is working fine and show you an example of how can you use it. In today's lesson, we'll take a picture using the Cropi camera. But what more can you do with this? Camera can create a very complicated project. For example, we can use it for face recognition, motion detection, object recognition, and so on. Many professionals use it for AI purpose and other purpose of detecting stuff. Today we will make a very, very basic example, but we are sure that you can make a more complicated one next time. Let's go into our Cropi and take a look how we're gonna make it. So we are back into our Cropi. Now we are going to show you how to use the camera functionality with a program called Camorama. How are we going to do this? Okay, first thing first is to open the terminal. Inside our terminal we are going to type Camorama. It should be already installed in the Raspberry Pi Cropi image. Now Camorama. It's C-A-M-O-R-A-M-A. -A -A. Press enter. It should open the camera interface in Camerama and you should see yourself inside the camera. Now, you can click file and take picture, but if you get any error, you could go to edit preferences, local picture, and make sure that you have the picture folder located. We will use home pie picture as the main picture to take the pictures, as the main folder to take the pictures. Now, we click close, smile to the camera, click file, take picture, it should take a picture. The image was the the image is stuck for a bit and then continue, which means the image taken successfully. Now we are going to quit the software, go into the folder, find the folder called pictures where we took it, webcam, and it should be right here. The image we took. You can take multiple pictures or even a video. And you can use Python to take pictures or other things, which we will probably teach you next time. What you're gonna do with this? Let us know in the comments. We are looking forward to know what you will do with this. And thank you for watching our lesson for today.